So let me ask you, you said about the the, uh, the aerosolize. How do they aerosolize? I know that that smoke cannot be water. It's just too thick. What is the vapor that actually comes out? There's got to be some vapor. What is right. the carrier liquid? Ca- uh, a propylene glycol. And is, the pro- pro- is, that, is that an antifreeze? That is antifreeze. <laughs> and the propylene glycol stabilizes the water vapor so that they... They, they form these little bubbles. And that's what you see. What you see coming out there, the, are really, it looks like smoke, but it's not. It's like steam. It's like little tiny bubbles. Now, the propylene glycol has a problem. And the problem is that, that um, when you take it in, it's, it, it dehydrates your mucous membranes. So when you initially begin smoking e-cigarettes, you tend to have a sore throat. Sometimes you'll get a dry nose. Kind of like cigarettes. Kind of like cigarettes, yeah. <laughs> but, but not as bad. And folks tell me that... Um, no problem. They, they get over it. <laughs> okay. How about the actual lung effects of propylene, aerosolized propylene glycol? Right. It, it's a toxin. It, I've heard of popcorn lung. What's that? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Somebody Never heard says, of that well, one. Well, the people make uh, artificial um, butter and buttered popcorn, apparently, if you work in those factories. Whatever this stuff is, aerosolized causes popcorn lung. But yeah, but that's different. That I, okay. I, now I do know what you're okay. talking about. That's an interstitial fibrosis. Oh, okay, associated with inhaling a different compound, not, oh, okay. not propylene glycol. Yeah. So, th- as far as you know, the propylene glycol or is that but glycerol? Is that the same thing, more or less? Yes. And what happens is it actually causes more of a bronchial irritation type thing. It doesn't make it all the way into the alveoli. Oh, it's, it's particles are too big. Too big. Interesting. Yeah, you got to be two microns or less to make down the alveoli. And these are big. The water vapor particles are big. So if you're going to get in, you get a little bit of a bronchial irritation, a little bit of a cough. Okay. So any, um, w- what else is in the vapor? I mean, so far you've only said it was nicotine, right, water, and right. glycerol. Is there anything else in there? You know, there's everything in there. They, they find metal parts in there. Is that just because of the processing is not too good or how, why does that happen? No, because these atomizers that they build, they're mass produced atomizers. Oh. So they're not really machined to exact specifications they're just machined good enough to get the job done good enough to get the job done so you have these nanoparticles and they're metal and those can be very small which means they can get all the way to the alveoli formaldehydes in there nickels in there and that's all just from the atomizer machine process no actually the formaldehyde is usually a contaminant from 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 the process of making the uh the nicotine solution oh so yeah and you know these are bad things that are are in the uh so are they in i know that's a lot less than smoke are, is, so is the smoke overall do you consider is it considered dangerous or we just don't even know well okay so here let's talk about that if you're a cigarette smoker now if you're a combustible cigarette smoker now and you switch to e-cigarettes you have um theoretically reduced your risk of certain things okay so your risk of lung cancer is probably less because you're taking in a lot less toxins than you were previously taking in. I mean, you're still taking in nicotine, but nicotine does, as far as we know, doesn't really hurt the lungs that badly. And the formaldehyde and nickel and cadmium and all those things that are a part of the e-cigarette contamination liquid, those are in fairly low concentration. So your actual risk to your lungs from e-cigarettes is less than combustible cigarettes. Now, substantially less? Substantially less. Um, and, and that's that's probably a good thing, right? To that individual, that's probably a good thing. Now, you've done a couple other things, though. You've substituted one addiction for another. And most users of e-cigarettes don't completely quit combustible Actually, cigarettes. Actually, we, we were going to get to the, that, I call that the $500 billion.